Cambodia is 93 to 95% Buddhist. The Christian population is about 3%, but it is growing in leaps and bounds. Most of the Christians are first-generation Christians. They're the first Christians in their family. They're also mostly youth, between 14 and 28, because you're considered a youth until you leave your house. But for being such a minority in the country and being young, these Christians are brave. Jesus is always on their lips. They thank God for everything in their hearts. And they're not afraid to tell people about Christ and the joy that Christ gives them. They also are brave in the face of great persecution. I asked a pastor while I was there what his greatest struggle was. And he told me that he and his wife, they moved to this province. His wife is also a pastor. And they were going to build a church. He said when they got there, there was some Buddhist gangs who threatened to kill his wife. And they threw rocks at his house for two years. And when he said this, I asked him, why did they stop? He said, because they got to know me. Because I brought them clothes and I brought them food. These were the people who had threatened to kill his wife. Jesus said, a new command I give you. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. A man who can love his enemies like this Cambodian pastor, that shows the world what the love of Christ looks like. Because Christ has loved all of us like that. Too often, we are the enemies of Christ. But that never stopped Christ from loving us all. Who is it in our lives that we need to show the love of Christ to? Does the world know us by our love? Are we willing to be like Christ, to lay down our lives for each other? Think about it.